Ilen Silla Lumen Omen Tielvo. Today, I'm going to talk about whether Sauron really could have won the War of the Ring. The short answer to this is yes, he could. Many of the wisest and most informed characters, such as Gandalf, Aragorn, Faramir, Denethor, Imrahil, and Theoden, all believed victory through armies and battles was impossible. We see this in the Battle of the Pelennor Fields. Only through extreme circumstances do the free peoples win that battle. With that being said, what was Sauron's military capabilities, and how could he outnumber the free peoples? Let's first establish the military capabilities of the free peoples. Gondor had a confirmed 6,400 men at least, and if you watched my video on the size of Gondor's army, I speculated Gondor could have as many as 28,500 men. Rohan had a confirmed 12,000 soldiers. Those are the only two kingdoms we have any kind of numbers for. Sauron's army had various different factions aligned with him, from Harad, Umbar, Khand, Rune, and Isengard for a little while, as well as the various orc strongholds in Mordor, Dol Guldur, and the Misty Mountains. We get very little information about the army sizes, but what we do know is that at the Pelennor Fields, the Haradrim had roughly 18,000 men, for they outnumbered the 6,000 Rohirrim 3 to 1. In Mordor, it is said that the combined might of Gondor and Rohan, 6,000 men, was outnumbered 10 to 1, meaning over 60,000 troops. Not all of these soldiers were orcs, as there were Haradrim and Easterlings in that host. That alone means Sauron had over 78,000 soldiers at his disposal in Mordor. Then there are the forces in Isengard. While Saruman turned double traitor to Sauron as well, he did aid Sauron in the war for the most part. With Saruman's Orukai army, that means Sauron had 88,000 troops. This doesn't cover the bulk of Sauron's forces, however, with his orcs at Dol Guldur, or the Easterlings that besieged Dale and Erebor, or the Corsairs that raided the coasts of Gondor. What we do know about these forces is that they were enough to at least bog down the elves of Lorien and Mirkwood, the dwarves of Erebor, and the men of Dale, as well as the Gondorians on the coast. While Lorien seemed to be safe due to Galadriel's power, the same cannot be said for Dale and Erebor, nor Mirkwood, or even the coast of Gondor as it seems the forces of Sauron overran the free peoples for a time, as in Erebor, or nearly overran them, like in Mirkwood. The free peoples' only hope really was to destroy the ring, for Sauron was too strong to beat, militarily. Thank you all for watching. I hope you all enjoyed. As always, feel free to like and subscribe for more content. Please let me know how I can better improve these videos. Thanks, and as the elves say, Namarie.